Hey guys, Miss Haley here. Um, welcome to my living room. I just wanted to show you how to do an ankle release. I use this a lot for when I teach grand plies and when I have students who really, really struggle with having a deep demi plie or with increasing the range of motion in their grand plies, um, getting a really good calf stretch. So I'm gonna show you how to release the ankle so that you can do your demi plie from your turnout and from your butt instead of pulling yourself down with your ankles. Um, if you pull yourself, if you think about pulling yourself down into your demi plie, you're gonna be limited in how far you can go down. And I'm gonna show you why and how to fix that. Okay, so I've got myself angled in a way that hopefully you can see my ankle pretty well. When you, when you flex your foot or when you do a demi plie and if you hold your ankle in this position and you grip in your ankle and you pull yourself in to your demi plie, what happens is a tendon right here activates. So this particular tendon runs from up into your, um, under your knee, all the way down across your ankle and into your big toe. And then you have another one that runs down across your ankle and splits into four pieces that runs into your little toes. So your big toe gets its own muscle and your little toes share a muscle right around here. And so I'm gonna try to angle myself in a way that you can see this. When I flex my foot, these two tendons kind of pop up a little bit like this. So you can see these two tendons are kind of sticking up right here. We want to try to get rid of that. So when those two tendons activate and pop up, they limit the range of motion that the ankle joint can have. Because if you think about it, the ankle joint is like this. And so when there's something that runs across in between, there's only so far that it can go. It kind of gets stuck. It gets something in between that doesn't allow you to get as far as you can. So if we can release these tendons when you do your demi plie, you're going to be able to get a deeper stretch in your soleus muscle. And in your, in, in, your soleus is one of your calf muscles. The soleus is the muscle that runs up and stops under your knee. Your gastrocnemius is the one that runs above the knee. So the soleus muscle is really key in your demi and grand plies. So when you're pulling yourself into your demi plie, you're gonna be activating those muscles. And that makes sense because that's that muscle's job. That muscle's job is to flex your foot. But if you can sink and push into your demi plie, you're gonna get a deeper stretch. So this is what I make my students do. I make them flex their foot and we clasp the hands like this and we put the hands around the metatarsals and then you just relax the foot. I'm only gonna use one hand so that hopefully you can see a little bit better. But I'm gonna really just relax my foot so that those tendons are not sticking up. And teachers, you may need to run your hands across like this. You may need to run up and down. You may need to help your students find those tendons. I have many students who cannot actively engage or disengage those tendons on will. And so if you're unable to control them, what you need to do is hold the ankle and flex and relax and flex and relax and flex and relax and just watch that tendon stick up every time you flex your foot. So here's my flexed and here's my relaxed. Flex and relax, flex and relax. So it's a very small change in the ankle. I'll show you from another perspective. Flex and relax, flex and relax, flex and relax. So it's this one right here. This is what we're trying to get to go away. So I'm gonna hold my foot and relax the ankle so that that tendon goes away. If your student is struggling with this, just have them practice this. Hold their foot, flex and relax, and get them to be able to find manipulate and control that tendon. Once we can control that tendon, what you wanna do is clasp the hands underneath, relax the tendon completely, my knee is bent, and I'm gonna pull my foot closer to my ankle. My tendon is completely relaxed here, and I'm letting that tendon go down, then I'm gonna get a deeper stretch right in my Achilles and in my soleus. Now what that translates to is when you stand up, 
you're going to need to be able to find that tendon and relax it so that you can get a deeper demi and grand plie. Okay, so what this translates to is if I'm pulling myself down into my demi plie, this is my uh, the fullest extent that I can go down. If I'm relaxing my ankles, I can go significantly farther. I'll turn to the side so that you can see a little bit of my range of motion. So holding myself, engaging that tendon and pulling myself down, this is where I naturally feel like I can stop. And then if I'm to squeeze the underbutt, the fluffy butt, and wrap and initiate the turnout with rotation, I can go quite a bit farther, staying in my alignment and relaxing my ankles to let myself get a much, much deeper stretch. Wow, look at this hair, holy bananas. This takes a lot of practice. This took me a good like six, eight months as a student to be able to figure out how to relax my ankles. But if you keep practicing it and you keep working on that flex and release, then you will eventually be able to figure it out. Um, you can absolutely see a dance therapist or some sort of physical therapist to help you along the way. Your teacher may be able to help you. Teachers, my best piece of advice is to hold the student's foot for them and force them to relax. You can use your thumb and kind of massage that muscle a little bit. Again, the flex and relax, flex and relax always helps um, my girls be able to figure that out. And once you're able to control and manipulate when that tendon activates, then you'll be able to hold and initiate your plie from another place and you'll be able to get a significantly deeper demi and grand plie.